Have you guys heard about the study that just got retracted after four years and over 3,000 citations? So remember COVID-19, the global pandemic and agoraphobia simulator? Well, back in March 2020, scientists were chasing the holy grail that was the COVID-19 treatment or vaccine. One of those scientists was Didier Raoult, a French microbiologist who published a study on the effectiveness of hydroxychloroquine, an anti-malaria drug, for effectively treating COVID. This sparked an avalanche of people buying this drug. Even former current, former President Donald Trump endorsed the drug. But people with literacy skills were skeptical, and scientists definitely had something to say about it. Like how the trial only had 36 people, of which four were excluded because three were hospitalized and one actually died. There were other sketchy things too, like whether they got ethics approval in time, or that peer review on the paper only took 24 hours, or maybe relatedly, how one of the co-authors was editor-in-chief at the journal where it was published. We call these conflicts of interest. Didier himself is also no stranger to controversial research practices. This paper marks his 28th retracted article. To me, this highlights how scientists are still people and can be motivated by very human things. Pride, recognition, fear, greed. While breakthrough research can and does still happen, the best findings come from collaboration, discussion, and validation, which take time. Retract me once, shame on you. Retract me twice, shame on me. Retract me 28 times, and shame clearly doesn't affect me. You should probably try something else.